What's good, people who watch my shit? If y'all been wondering where I'm at or where I've been or whatever, um, I've been right here. I've just been trying to upload these videos, and for some reason, they're, they're not uploading. I don't know um, what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I have made various videos, but for some reason, like, YouTube keeps fighting me to get them on here. Like, they're not uploading. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, so I'm not even sure if this video is going to go up, but hopefully it will because I'm feeling very passionate right now. I'm going to try to stay calm, but, you know, uh, I ran, I was on Mr. Superboy's channel. I know I'm on Terrain Reigns right now, but I was on Mr. Superboy's channel, and I, I seen this, the thing with these cops, these black cops who had um got in trouble for accidentally shooting a white kid, and I'm now I'm hearing that they were sentenced to 40 motherfucking years in jail, right? And what gets me really upset about this, because I haven't even watched these two, these two's videos yet, but maybe they'll bring, bring, bring this up. And it's just something that gets me so mad. It infuriates me so much is I remember during, um, the height of the Black Lives Matter stuff, because we all know that it's died down now, but the height of it, there was like a, a, another faction of people and it wasn't just evil, demonic, pale folk. There were also like like other groups of people and including black people who are on this whole, you know, this isn't a, a black people issue, black people versus police issue. This is a police versus everybody issue. Try to do this everybody, everybody, kumbaya thing. Now we see the police jump over themselves to fuck black people up and then people will tell us, oh no, you see, they were going to get me too. It's just, oh, uh, maybe they didn't see me or something. No, they have always... They've all black people have always been their number one targets, and because people want to do this kumbaya cooning, or or play this kumbaya game, where we all where the only way that these non black people can care about issues that are affecting black people is if they try to force themselves into it and rope themselves in. And black people, you what you have to realize about that what what they're really saying when they when they do this oh all people thing is they're saying I can't care that this is happening to you. I don't care that this is happening to you. It affecting you. Uh, doesn't matter to me. I need to put myself into this so that I can care because I don't care about your life and your existence. So um, I'm gonna rope. I'm gonna put myself into the situation in order for me to care. Is basically what they're saying, even though they know it's not them that's being attacked. But my main thing about this is the the, the coons and, and and other black people who 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 fell on the opposite side of this, where they were saying it's the police that are are under attack. And how we need to unite and protect the police, like you all, because a lot of coons don't believe that they're coons, and they'll and when they jump on the side of police, they like to pretend like oh, well not pretend, they 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 stay to themselves, like they they truly believe that they care about the police and that these people that they that they fuck with care about the police too. So what I have to ask is, where is Blue Lives Matter? Where is Blue Lives Matter to protect these police who who acts who were just doing their jobs? Where, where are the people arguing for them? Where's the petition? Where's the money? Where are the interviews? Where's that for these police officers? You know what I'm saying? Since it's not a black and white issue, because it's never a black and white issue, not to the conservatives, not to a bunch of these liberals. It's, it's not a black and white thing. You know what I mean? It's, it, you, it's not a black and white thing. But when Oscar Grant, I know a lot of y'all probably forgot about Oscar Grant, when he was handcuffed, and was laying on his on his stomach, unable to to reach for an officer's gun, unable to resist arrest. He still got shot in his back and killed. And that officer is walking around. But these 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 two got forty motherfucking years, forty years, forty. Okay, when they what, these 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 white supremacists, they be acting like it will kill them to send a cop to jail. For like five, like these people, people were making the argument like, oh, it's hard to send cops to jail. Is it? Is it? Anytime, like a lot of these, your, I like to call them your white friends because they're not mine. Your white friends will tell you, oh, it's hard to convict all police. Oh, you know, it's just hard to, 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 to sentence police. It's hard to, to put them in jail. And these two got 40 freaking years. The two black people who shot shot the white kid on accident got forty years. So when when your white liberal friends or your or your or your white conservative friends come to you and try to act like um either a that oh it's just a, a hard thing that the police are the enemy and it's hard for them to go to jail, ask them why the two black motherfuckers are damn near about to be under the jail and all the white cops uh, they, they 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 barely even get um the paid leave they barely even get sent off with paid leave that's like that's like the most that's like the most that these damn police will punish each other. 
okay, will punish the pale ones. All right, that's the mo that's the, like the farthest they'll go. They they act like they're cutting off their arm to send an officer um off with paid leave. Like that was such a big big deal when they do that shit. Definitely not jail time, but they try to. But these these white folks who care about how they look, they they care about their image so bad. You know, even these non racist ones, they care about how white people look so bad. They'll sit there and tell you in your face that it's just a police thing. And then the same thing to these conservatives. Well, where's Blue Lives Matter then? Right? Where Blue Lives Matter to tell us that they were just doing their job, to tell us it's hard to be a police officer, to tell us that this is unfair, and, 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 and to tell us how, um, how, how, how the kid was resisting. Where are they at? You know what I'm saying? I, don't care. I know how pale folks are regardless, no matter what, what line they are, no matter where, where they are on the political spectrum, no matter uh, how, anything about them. I know I know what their end goal is. You know what I'm saying? They just want to feel good about themselves. They want black people to shut up about talking about anything that they do. That's the, the majority of them. That's what they want, regardless of if they're straight up racist or low key racist. That's what they that's what they want at the end of the day. What I have a problem with is these different black people who will 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 either fall on on the side of, oh, you know, it's 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 uh it's not a black issue they always try to do regardless these black people always do it's a not a black issue thing is it really not a black issue then? because for the longest time we've seen these white cops bl freaking do the most foulest heinous randomest horrible uh, obviously unfair shit to black people for we've watched this for for forever and we've been told from all these different sides how how either uh, we need to leave the police alone and how police need to be protected or we've been told that how it's just hard to get the police and how pol how police in general regardless of color, this, that, and the third and now I'm sitting here staring at these two black motherfuckers, the ones who finally the two people who finally, the two cops who finally get the book thrown at them and have the damn courthouse dropped on them are the two fucking black ones that shot the white kid are you kidding me? After all these black kids, Tim, Timmy Arrest was crying for his freaking mom, 12 years old, crying, his guts were blown out. And they were, they were over there harassing his sister, and she's trying to get to him. And none of them, none of them, none of them is going to jail. None of them. None of them. We, we all, we jumped up and we did all this parade and we ran down in the street. We burned down these cities. We did all this stuff. And none of these people went to jail. None of them. And then you, your white friends were telling you all this different and stories about how, how the police are, are doing this and they're doing that to everybody. And your white friends to the coons were the ones telling you how we need to protect the police. Well, where are they? Where's Blue Lives Matter? Where's Blue Lives Matter? Where's Blue Lives Matter to come swoop in and come protect these cops? Where are they at? Because it's a race issue. Because it's a race issue. It's always a race issue. It's always been a race issue. It will always be a race issue. Everything is a race issue. Everything is a race issue. Okay? While you're sitting around running around with these damn ghost people, these damn snow, these snow people, while you're sitting around running around with them, and they're telling you all these these sweet nothings in your ears about how we're going to protect the police for you coons and they don't protect the black ones. Notice that. Or your white friends who will tell you how, oh, it's just hard to get police in general. And then, then, and then when these two black ones shoot one of their own, they're sitting up under the jail. Because at the end of the day, they're going to protect their own. At the end of the day, their life to them is way more precious than everybody else. Nobody else's lives matters as much as theirs. So they'll, they'll start their blue lives matter or they'll do whatever they can to convince you that that or try to dull the race part of an issue when it's always race. Race is always there. And race is the number one thing to these um, evil, demonic uh, white supremacists. That's the number one thing to them is race. It's the game of race. And it's the game of we, you don't get to hurt one of ours. Okay, that's what it is. Tariq talks about this all the time. It's about the fact that you you don't get to attack white people. You don't get to do anything. You could you could stay up under us. You can attack black people. You can and we'll we'll protect you. But you don't get to attack one of ours. And regardless, white folks bending over backwards, no matter if they're they're racist or non or claim to be non racist, doing the same thing that they always do. And nobody wants you to take notice of this shit. Okay, black people everywhere should be making videos about this. Only two people so far. Now I know this just happened like today, but that's but I should be seeing videos from everybody. Just two people. That's ridiculous. This is the the main thing that we should be focusing on. Not that I th don't think Bill O'Reilly was was out of line, and I really wish that I was able to upload that video. I'm gonna try again. Well, I was getting in that ass for talking about Maxine Waters. Say she got a James Brown. Like what kind of foolishness? And then you look at this man's hair. But I don't mean to get off topic but i'm just saying like I, people jumped up about that we jumped up about uh, the other dude 
getting disrespectful with April Ryan. I need people to jump up about this because this shows the fact that we sat here for two, three years going hard about this Black Lives Matter thing and showing that it's these white cops who are fucking up black people and not going to jail. And it's not an all cops thing. And you guys don't care about all cops because when the black cops fuck up, you want them in the jail or you're not saying nothing about it. And, and, and when the black cops fuck up, they go to jail for a whole bunch of years. There's, I can't keep talking about this, okay? I can't keep talking about this. I'm just going to take out my magnifying glass and I'm, I'm going I'm to go look for Blue Lives Matter. I'm going to go try to find Blue Lives Matter and ask them, where, where are y'all? Why aren't y'all protecting these people? I'm going to call up um, Scooby-Doo. I'm going to call up the, uh, the, the Scooby-Doo gang and ask them if they can find Blue Lives Matter for me. You know what I mean? I'm going to ask motherfucking Nancy Drew. I'm going to ask the Hardy Boys to come find, find Blue Lives Matter so we can see, see, see why, where, where are they? Why aren't they helping these cops? Why aren't they helping these cops? Because what's the big difference here? Let me let me stay calm. Um, subscribe and, and send me send me stories so I can do them shits. All right, bye.